delicious. Lots of uh, wonderful things to be able to experience here in Brockville and quite the history as well. And we're joined by Brian Porter, who's a historian right now. I love the getup. I, it suits you. It's uh, really quite nice, and it's part of the history here in the yeah. area. Yes, it is. This is the original look of the Northwest Mounted Police. 1873, when Prime Minister John McDonald created this uh, iconic force and sent them out west, this was the original look, and uh, it was based on the uh, uh, Irish uh, um, constabulary, and um, this was the look that we sent these 300 men out west to bring law and order to the west. What I love, you know, is you were talking about the uniform and, and A, that you wanted the simple, it, it wanted it to be simple, but realistically the hat, no use whatsoever. The pillbox hat is probably the most useless hat designed by mankind. But when they got out west, they would wear, more likely be wearing their uh, white pith helmets, which would protect them from the weather, shed the rain, and uh, give them a little bit more protection than the pillbox, for sure. Uh, there's uh, so much, too, in terms of the, the garb and what you're wearing, but really the history between the relationships as well. Yeah. And, uh, and there's a wonderful relationship that was established. Yes, the, uh, Walsh's main claim to fame, when he led the, uh, the first um, contingent out west in 18. 1973. He, uh, when they would get out west, they would wear the uh, they would wear the buckskins out west, and uh, they wouldn't be wearing their reds all of the time. They would wear the reds when they needed to impress uh, people in the area and so on. But this was more the look, and this was a postcard that he actually sent to his brother in Prescott. This is quite the quite the uh, well-known photograph of Walsh. But his claim to fame was when Sitting Bull arrived in Canada with 5,000 of his Sioux people, and Walsh. Uh, rode into camp with two 5, interpreters, 5,000 Sioux, arrive on the borders of Canada, and uh, Walsh was um, a little bit concerned because they were landing right in the prime hunting ground of the Blackfoot Nation. So Walsh, with a couple of interpreters and a couple of constables, rode into camp to meet Sitting Bull. And Sitting Bull, who was very famous at that time, having just uh, defeated uh, Custer in the United States, and um, Walsh um, dismounts and uh, asks to meet the chief, sets up his camp and spends the night. So this was a, the beginning of a friendship that went on for the next four years. And it's a, a friendship that really estab helped establish the relationships and the land and the people uh, here in the area yes. and, uh, and it grew from there. Here, is the, here are the rules if you want to stay in the great white grandmother's land, Queen Victoria. Uh, these are the, uh, the conditions and Sitting Bull and his people maintain those conditions. There's to be no raiding back into the United States and that sort of thing. And you must maintain the peace and um, you can do hunting here and so on and that's exactly what happened. Uh, it's interesting to see the stories and the people. For you as a historian, what is your favorite aspect <coughs> of, this, of this community, of what it offers? Of this community? Well, there are just so many stories. This is the, uh, this is the original um, municipality in Ontario. This was the first incorporated municipality in Ontario, 1832. And uh, this uh, historic uh, Loyalist settlement has a great many historical, uh, uh, many stories to be told. And I'm telling one of them with Major Walsh, uh, who established, just behind us here is the Brockle Rowing Club. He was the first president uh, when that was established in 1894. Uh, Walsh was sent into the Yukon as the first commissioner of the Northwest Mounted Police during the Klondike Gold Rush. So just Walsh himself, there's enough stories to be told. Right. Uh, and you're going to be doing a tour later on at the museum, uh, celebrating what it was the 100-year mark of this uh, is the 100th vehicle. anniversary of the building of the first automobile in Brockville. So we have uh, that to celebrate this year, and I will be telling these American tourists about our attempt to get into the car business. <laughs> I like that. Our attempt to get into the car. Our business. attempt. Yes. Uh, it was a pleasure to talk to you, and uh, you know, I know you can uh, you have to wear this for the rest of the day. Although sometimes you could. <laughs> Interesting story with Walsh. All right, we're going to take a short commercial break. Uh, please come and join us. We are on Market Street West. Wonderful establishment. We got the waterfront right behind us. We got the old uh, railway tunnel right behind us. Uh, plenty more stories to come here from Rockville Live, where you live. Continue one live.